Hey guys, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3. We're here with a man who will pat a dog. Just like that. But he won't bend down to pat the cat. I'm still, I'm still, uh, I'm upset. I am upset. <laughs> oh. He's not making me like not miss Ezio I'll tell you he needs to pat these cats to win my favor um I've noticed that there's a little dialogue thing in here I'm going to go and check that out oh it's this guy this is um Benjamin Franklin I've actually found one of his almanac pages so let's have a chat with him hello again Hi, buddy. More almanac pages? Well, not quite. It's a treatise, actually. Oh? Concerning what? The, the benefits of taking an older woman as a lover. Oh. Really? This I'd like to hear. <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> First and most obvious, they're wiser. Sometimes. And so this makes for far more stimulating conversation. Makes other things more stimulating as well, but more oh. on that in a moment. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Your argument for experience makes some sense. Second, when beauty fades, women must improve their utility, <laughs> lest they be discarded and forgotten. Rare is oh. an old woman who is not also kind, compassionate, and good. My goodness! That's something of a generalization. <laughs> but also true. Now, on to the third. Older women cannot conceive, which means one less thing over which to fret. In oh. fact, you also decrease the chance of acquiring something like the French pox, its presence clearly visible, or the woman dead. <laughs> and should one desire a child? Then make a young woman your wife. Let the older one be a mistress. And oh. that brings me to my fourth point. Oh. With age, comes prudence. An older woman is less likely to reveal your indiscretions. Yes. <laughs> I suppose you know quite a bit about that. Mm, I reckon. And proud of it, thank you. <laughs> As to the fifth reason, because in every animal that walks upright, the deficiency of the fluids that fill the muscles appears first in the highest part. The face first grows lank and wrinkled, then the neck, then the breast and arms. The lower parts continuing to the last as plump as ever, so that covering all above with a basket and regarding only what is below the girdle, it is impossible of two women to know an old from a young one. And as in the dark all cats are grey, the pleasure of corporal <laughs> enjoyment with an old woman oh, is at least wow. equal and frequently superior, <laughs> every knack being by practice capable of improvement. You mad bastard! <laughs> well. It's true, and believe me, I should know. Oh, wow. I've sampled a great many. I bet you, you try have, one as well. sir. Like a fine wine, they <laughs> only improve with age. Although I suppose if left unattended too long, some of a tendency to sour. And that, my friend, is a most unpleasant experience. Better to work in a field often plowed, you know? Uh-huh. Is there more? <laughs> indeed, indeed. The sixth is this. The sin is less. To take a maiden head is a great responsibility. Mishandled, it can ruin lives. No such risk with an older woman. And this implies the seventh. Younger women are more given to compunction. Anxiety and unease are not present in the more aged and experienced. <laughs> and as to the last of my reasons, well, it's really quite simple. Older women are so very grateful for the attention. Oh, wow. You make a compelling argument, Mr. Franklin. I might just have to run a few tests myself. Oh, I like highly you. recommend it. <laughs> wow, that was um, a very stimulating conversation. My goodness me, he is a feisty old fox. I am wondering, though, how old are his older women? I am guessing back in these days, maybe they were like, I don't know, 25. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, does he have anything else to say? I owe you a great thanks, by the way. What for? Speaking with me. You see, Aww. I have very few friends in Boston these days. Hmm. And what did you do to earn their ire? Have you said that Started to their Started with a cartoon I drew, <laughs> suggesting unification. How else can we hope to withstand the French menace? I proposed something similar at the Albany conference as well, and it ruffled quite a few feathers. See, mm. I've begun to wonder if Parliament best serves our interests. The colonies might be better off independent and autonomous. Most of my peers, however, haven't taken kindly to the suggestion. Are things truly so bad under the Crown? But you've answered your own question. Under. Why under? It should be side by side. Does France reside beneath Britain? Do the Italians? The Prussians? The Spanish? No. Oh, sure, they may disagree from time mm. to time, even come to blows, but they stand on equal ground. And we should as well. Are the colonies not simply an extension of the kingdom, though? Another borough, if you will? No, we are not. We've evolved into something else, something distinct. <laughs> hmm. I suppose it's only natural to desire parity. We leave behind our parents, our childhoods, our homes, and seek to find a place in the world. If it's true for a person, why not a nation? Yes, yes, exactly. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. Please, don't let me keep you from your work. Well, thank you, sir. Um, he is a very interesting fellow. I am very, um, very well schooled now about the advantages of taking an older woman as a, as a lover. Thank you, Mr. Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, let's head to our first mission of this episode. Oh, by the way, you probably already know what I'm about to say, but I've done all of the viewpoints, of course. I can't help it. If you give me a game like this and bits and pieces to do on my own, then they're going to get done. ASAP because I get a little bit maybe obsessive like that <laughs> okay you know hello sir <laughs> he looks a bit like Dutch Vandalin Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. Mm. We need to find a way inside. Mm. Mm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. Thank you, Charles. My good friend, Charles. Let's go. Oh! I love that. We sort of, like, fast traveled just a little bit thank you very kindly the soldier state your business new recruit <laughs> more kindling for the pyre eh well go on then thanks that easy how'd you manage that did you forget sir my commission is with general braddock when i'm not attending to you of course Right. Okay. Easy. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to run or do anything silly. I'm just going to not get any attention. 
This follow Charles. Your axe are Ooh. treacherous. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Ooh. That's our boy. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. Wow. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hate them, General Braddock. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. <laughs> Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. <laughs> but they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not <laughs> have him. Oh. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Oh, okay. We may have to take a, a different approach. Hmm. Well, that didn't go as I expected. <laughs> but to think I used to call him brother. <laughs> what now? They'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. To steal him. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Oh, I was meant to be walking. I'm sorry, I was waiting for their conversation to be over. Because I wanted to look up... Um, what are you planning? I wanted to look up something. I wanted to check the fellow that he was talking to. I'll have to check that when I am editing because I'm not really sure the name of the person he was talking to. I was just curious about steel master why he would call him what? You'll brother. See. Now, Unless that was more just give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol a and you're friendly them into a dead end. thing. All right, let's go then. We may have to keep... Don't want to get too close. The Mohawk Indians have <gasps> Watch out, watch out. Where shall we head next? Perhaps Don Marlborough. No. Its residents are too content. Their homes are nice. Their days untroubled. What of Lynn or Ship Street? Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. Oh, look at Charles! It's just getting food, stealing it, and more food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should do the same to you. I cannot. I would like to, though. Oops, sorry, lady. Peeking around the corner, that actually looks now. awesome, hey. Demonstrate tomorrow by the bell break, his latest flying contraption. What? <laughs> Charles is just going for it. Oi! You oh. thieves and scoundrels, one and all! Fire on you and your false war! <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Uh oh <laughs> hey, the, he's just there rolling his eyes by the look of it follow Charles to ambush Braddock's patrol Charles Lee oops don't look at me <laughs> wow unhand him Edward uh, you again let us go. And John Pitt can with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Well. Nor I. I'm going to have to put a sword put in you. Put them all in chains. Good luck. <laughs> I don't think so. 
Easy. Maybe. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna try my counters. That's nice. That's good, yes. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it now. Oh, he's shooting me. Better get him a bit quicker. Nice. Beautiful. Get out. Kill I you. stay my hand today because you were once my brother and a better man than this. Or should our paths ever cross again, all debts will be forgotten. You're free now, John. Hmm. Traitor! Go on then. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying broke... I assume broke, you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. I just over the, the top way. of him. <laughs> Again, he referred to Braddock as his brother. There's nothing in here about Braddock, though. I mean, I would like to read about him. I can't find anything about Braddock unless I'm not looking correctly. It's... There's nothing in there, unfortunately. Oh, the paper! I'm obsessed with finding this paper. No, no, go, 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 go. Oh, come on. I should have got that. The page is lost. My goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry, Benjamin. I'm sorry, buddy. I'll get it one day. I promise. Alrighty, back here. This seems to be our regular haunt. The green dragon. With the grumpy lady. Alright. We have... A couple of people to talk to upstairs. But you know I have to see if I can find this lady. She's probably downstairs. Getting up to all sorts of mischief. Hello, gentlemen. So, a question for you. Why medicine? I'm supposed to tell you I care for my fellow man, right? <laughs> that I chose this path because it allows me to accomplish a greater good. But... That's not why? Are these why? things not true? <laughs> Perhaps. But that's not what guided me, no. For me, it was a less abstract thing. Oh. I like money. Oh, okay. Makes sense. There are other paths to fortune. <laughs> What better wear to pedal than life? Mm. Nothing else is as precious nor so desperately craved. And no price is yes. too great for the man or woman who fears an abrupt and permanent end. Your words are cruel, Is Benjamin. that a threat to people? <laughs> but true as well. Uh-huh. You took an oath to help people, did you not? I abide the oath, which makes no mention of price. I merely require compensation, fair compensation, for my services. <laughs> and if they lack the required funds? He won't help them. Then there are others who will serve them. Mm -hmm. Does a baker grant free bread to a beggar? Sometimes. Does the tailor offer a dress to the woman who cannot afford to pay? No. Not really. <laughs> Why should I? You said it yourself. Nothing is more precious than life. Huh. Indeed. All well, the more reason one should ensure they have the means to preserve it. Interesting fellow. You're a very lovely man. Very lovely, I must say. This business with Silas confuses me. If Britain stands any chance of pushing back the French, they must ally with the natives. Not enslave them. Silas is loyal only to his purse. That his actions harm the crown is irrelevant. So long as there are buyers for his product, he'll continue to procure it. All the more reason to stop him, then. My days are spent in Congress with the locals, attempting to convince them that we're the ones they should trust, that the French are merely using them as tools to be abandoned. 
once they've won. Your words must lose their strength when held against the reality of Silas' actions. I've tried to explain that he does not represent us. But he wears the red coat. Mm. He commands a fort. I must appear to them either a liar or a fool. Likely both. Take heart, brother. When we deliver them his head, they'll know your words were true. Okay, so now I think I get this brother thing. It's not um, a, like a family, like a blood brother family. It's more a very good friend. Does that, does that make sense? Like a good friend, someone that you can rely on, that you can trust. If I may, I was curious about your past with Braddock. You two clearly mm. have a history. Yes, I want Edward to know. Edward was one of us upon a time. And I considered him a close friend. He was brave and bold in ways few men are. But everything changed at the siege of Bergen op Zoom. We had lost the fortress to the French and were in the midst of egress. There was a skiff hidden at the port with which we planned to make our escape. As we drew near, a young man and his family came upon us, begging for safe passage. I consented, mm. but Edward refused. Yeah. The young man called him Craven then. So Edward killed him and all the rest. Right. Even the children. Wow. To this day, I don't know why. Was this the first time he'd struck out? Or had I simply never seen it before? Mm. Either way, things were never the same after that. We campaigned together a few more times, but each outing was more disturbing than the last. He killed and killed. Enemy yeah. or ally, civilian yeah. or soldier, guilty or innocent. It mattered not. If he perceived one to be an obstacle, they died. Yeah. He maintained that violence was a more efficient solution became his mantra and it broke my heart i had no idea mm. he hides it well and intimidates into silence any who discover him those who persist have a tendency to find misfortune and we should <laughs> stop him yes i suppose you're right but i maintain a foolish hope that he might yet be saved and brought back round to reason i know i know it's a silly thing Don't think to so. believe that one so drenched in death might suddenly change. I'm sorry to have brought us up. It was not my intent to sow you. Nonsense. Hmm. We are brothers now. Seems there should lovely. be no secrets between us. I love that. Uh, I'm so happy that I took the time to talk to Thomas because I was so curious about Braddock and the whole brother thing. And that explains a lot. All right, let's get on with our next mission. Infiltrating South Gate. Gentlemen, oh. I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? <laughs> the Greek hero, you lobcock. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Uh. We enter Silas Fort under the pretext of kinship. Oh, wow. Once inside, we spring our trap Free the captives and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. <laughs> then, let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. Okay. We got a great big convoy. <laughs> I like Hatham, but he seems to lack a lot of personality. <laughs> He hides, like he's just, you know, he doesn't hide, but he's very closed off. I, I want to know more about him. The convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, That's it. we can catch them all unawares. The plow is <clears throat> Oh, I see. Are they going to pretend that they've got trouble? Looks like. Good little disguise. Oh, look at this. Nice. Damn it. 
I thought I picked up a weapon. I'm quite sure I picked up that weapon. I'm sorry. I picked it up now. Oh my gosh. Please reload. Oh man. This takes so long. Hurry up and reload. Oh my goodness. I may, I should just go down there. <laughs> I didn't even kill anyone with the gun. It's so slow. Charles, you and William <laughs> serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. <laughs> what about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. <laughs> well, we look lovely in our new outfits. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. Please. We can't chance an inspection of the <laughs> gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Hmm. That's nice. Hopefully we can help them. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Mm. Yes, Sir, true. We have enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of them. As you wish. Oh, okay. Get to I the wish you without trust being us. detectives. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. I can't blame her. Like, she doesn't know them. Oh wow, we, they killed them. Watch out, kid! Oh damn! He's just walking in the way of the horses. This is nice. We're just out on a, a beautiful romantic wagon ride. Oh, identify yourself. People Where up the top. What's the meaning of this? Well, we just won't say anything. We'll just. Press L1 to launch the attack. Engage the enemy. Let's go! Nice. Good job. Get out of the way, dude. Oh, there's people up there. Goddamn dogs. Let no man reach us. Get him. Yes. Yes, good job. Excellent. So I have to look out for dogs and other things that could detect us. There's a lot of commotion up ahead. Go, 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 go. On your guard, man. Fresh meat, eh? Of course. Nice. Look at that. Only oh. say the word and I'll cut them down. Thanks, Charles. One moment, then. Engage the enemy. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Amazing! Just slicing through them. Beautiful. <laughs> I really like this. Not just because I don't have to really do anything, but it's just fun. It's different. There's some more guys up there. Should we take them out? Oh, we're here already. Yes, nice. Old. Evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery for Silas. Go on then. Hmm. Amazing. That was almost too easy. See? I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain. Nope. <laughs> Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. Yes. Okay. All right, so we have to free the captives. Optional, find and kill the general. Oh, gosh. 
perform stealth assassinations. Oh my goodness. Attack the convoy. Okay, well, we've done that. So free the captives undetected. Gosh, how do I do this? I have no idea what I'm doing. Greetings. How fares the watch? It's my mate. Thomas Smith, newly recruited. Arrived from London just last week, in fact. And you're to patrol with us. So said Silas. Hmm. I assume it's all rather straightforward. Watch for disturbances. Ensure order is maintained. Hmm. Merchandise? You don't know, you don't need to. Just do as you've been told and stay out of our way. Of course. Nice. Oh, there's a. I assume it's quiet here most days. Uh oh. On occasion, we get lots of trying to bury lots of animals. Oh, damn. It's more fine in certain morning, usually set to rise. Hmm. Oh, no, there's a dude. There's two dudes. I'm in there. trouble. Why do you think so many of us volunteer? No, I'm in big trouble. Play, safe work. Chance to own some land. Friends from see an end to that. I don't know. They seem content in the north. I don't even know if this is the right thing to do. Hey, I just don't know. That's exactly what they want you to do. Such a shame. Uh oh. I'm getting in trouble. Someone's seeing me. There's a bush here. I can hide in. Oh, there's the captives. And I can see, though, that they have a guard like peeking in on them every so often. Let's um get that guy. <laughs> nice. That should be fine. Excellent. Oh, did you see that? You just can take that lock off with like one hand. Are you joking? Nice. Good job. Oof. Oh man, this is going to be tricky. There's guys everywhere here now. Oh no, 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 no. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't think they were there before. Oi, oh. fellas. Apologies for me tardiness. And Cutter oh, had me it. working late. You know Cutter? <laughs> well, who do you think got me this post? Well, I'm in big trouble here. Him. Now, what's this garlic? What's this? Whew. That was lucky. Uh, okay, so we have some guys just here. I'm going to take out that guy because he's pretty annoying. Keep spying on me. So I should be able to take... Okay, so we've got them. This is actually really stressful. <laughs> it's quite tricky. Okay, so one lot left to go on the boat. How do I do this? I might need to take him out, hey. Oh, there's two. Nope. Won't be doing that. Alright, let's just make our way on board this ship there's literally guys everywhere there's two guys up there one fella here that does his rounds oh there's two oh damn it I'm in big trouble no! No! <laughs> no! My last dude! No, no, no. Please don't make me do all that again. Oh. Thank goodness. 
All right, I'm back here. Thankfully, that wasn't too bad. Just have this guy. That's better. Yes. That's better. Nice. Excellent. That was good. That was actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed that one. That was a fun mission. An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. <laughs> How? <laughs> How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free. It's unacceptable. Precious merchandise. Rest assured, slaves. I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess. Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate one is to be made them. a corpse. Am I understood? One of us or one of them? Who's them? Huh. Grumpy old thing. I'm glad he's on our hit list. Push them back. Oh, what? We just literally get put into this mess. What's happening? Oh, press X to use a new a nearby enemy as a human shield. Oh, amazing! That's nice. I'm going to. Damn it! I got confused. I thought I was the guy on the right. You dress the same, man. I'm gonna do some counter attacks. That's nice. There we go. I'll deal with this, sir. Okay, so you're gonna deal with it then. So do I just go and get uh, silence? Okay. Oh. Uh oh. I might not go that way. <laughs> He's here, Benjamin. The interloper. Glad to Kill have you with us. I could use some help. I'll yes. Kill it you like a I, I tell you what, having all the guys in the same outfits uh, is not fun. <laughs> Kill the intruder. Get lost. I'll just do some. The order Aye. stands united. The one responsible. Kill Come on. Him. Get him. Back, you vile fox. Yes. Yes. Who are you? Name's Haytham Kenway. I'm Batman. <laughs> you don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Cyrus. <laughs> one I intend to keep. Whoa. Got his revenge? Wow. Are they free now? Oh, there she is. We got a little smile from her in the end. Terrible life, just being they're they're slaves, aren't they? What just, happens now? It's terrible. We wait. But not for very long, I suspect. Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't think we'll be waiting around having a cup of tea. I think we're in a little bit of trouble. That was a great mission. I really liked that one. Sequence 2 complete! Yay! We're doing so well. I'm slowly warming up to... To our boy, Haytham. It's been it's just several that... weeks now since we freed the Mohawk oh. prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next. 
and I do not have an answer. Hmm. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads, however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. Yes. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have mm. my answers. Yes. So, I watch <laughs> and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin. His true mission. It's got to do with that little amulet. It hasn't it? It's got to do with that. There was talks of, they mentioned like talks of flashing lights and all, it's assassin stuff. No one seems to know about it though. And this is so, so pretty. We are here in winter time. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm going to go after this almanac page again. I'm going to, I failed. <laughs> I failed. Oh no. The page is lost. I'm sorry, Benjamin. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Before we go into the next mission, I'm just going to have a quick look at Desmond. Sometimes there's new discussions and things to be had with our buddies. Stop wasting time. Okay. <laughs> I guess there's nothing new. What about you, Sean? Back to work I go. You should consider doing the same. Oh, yes, sir. I'm Let me look at... I'm working right now. All the visual oh. clues are here, which means no time for chit-chat, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well, I guess there's nothing... Nothing for us to do here. I do keep getting notifications about having an email to check. Oh, here's my computer. I found it. Oh, received messages. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick read through these and see if there's anything interesting. Haytham's amulet is technically a piece of Eden. It's not particularly exciting. It functions as a key and that's about it. Oh, we've got a visitor down here. It's Juno. Oh, wow. Flits through the air, reminds us to guard you well, find the key and then disappears. That is creepy. And on that note, <laughs> happy Halloween. <laughs> cool. I'm just trying to find how to get back to my work. Is this it here? Oh, no way. It's on a rock. It's just, oh, that is so uncomfortable. Poor Desmond. <laughs> I just got him laying on a rock. No pillow. <laughs> no blade. He's going to get bed sores, the poor love. All right, back to our lovely green dragon. We're here constantly with the grumpy old lady. Hello, Charles. Hello, Charles. Any luck finding our mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble Ooh. just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Right. Well, then that's where we'll begin our search. I'll meet you there. Alrighty, the mystery lady. He seems very interested in her. <laughs> she is quite pretty. I I always go the romance option, but perhaps he is just legitimately interested in finding her for for proper proper business. Oh, new animal. The turkey. Cool. I want to pet every single animal in this game or interact with as I know that he refuses to pet the cat. Do that to a cat. Hey, Sam, you and I are just not friends. 
if he cannot do that to a cat, that's it. <laughs> I've been wandering for a long time trying to get to this next mission point, and it's, uh, it's been wonderful going through the villages and experiencing the snow fast travel. Oh, well, I went the long way and I enjoyed it because I got to run through the snow and I saw a turkey, so I'm happy. Oh, we're going to somewhere else? I hope this is... I, I have no idea what it's going to be, but I just feel that it's going to be beautiful. Well, hello, gorgeous. Hello. And yes, I see that we do have a fast travel point. So in the future, I don't have to run through everywhere. <laughs> I just ran the whole way. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much. Wow. This place is amazing. Oh, wow. There's a house out here. This is so incredible. Oh, you can play uh, dice and play games in there. It's a fox. It's a fox. Can I pet you? I have to see. I have to see. I have to see. Or is he like a little... Is he like a little enemy? Okay, I think he might be a little enemy. Let's just get it on our horse. <laughs> well, I want to pat all the animals, okay? Oh, He's a little bit, a little bit scared. Oh, hello. Are you guys safe or are you going to attack me? Okay, I think they're alright. Wow. so cute what was that thing like a little skunk or something so cool i love the animals in this game it is just uh, it's such a a huge huge improvement for someone like me that enjoys things like animals in games and being able to pet them Is that you, Charles? Did you see me showing off on my horse? Is that Charles? Yes. <laughs> Hello. Look where we are. Have you found her? Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Okay. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. <laughs> it's just as cold in the city, I'm sure. Oh, nice. We'll move faster on horseback. I'm afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh. oh. Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. Oh, no, no doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Mm. Do as he asks. Mm. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. Yes. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not oh. your fault. It's not his fault. Oh, does that mean that we won't be working alongside Charles for a little bit until we can... Until Haytham can sort things out? I love being with Charles. I'll be disappointed. We're too late. Fire's <gasps> only just been snuffed. Snow oh. recently disturbed. She's close. I was worried that we found a dead body. Oh. Right. It better not be my Bonnets. horse. These tracks are fresh. Oh, that was my horse. It must horse. be hers. Mm. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. Okay. Well, our horse is now gone. Uh, how do I track? Higher ground. Well, she must be up there then. It's sort of the 
Uh, maybe? There's, um... Oh! Oh, is that her? <gasps> She's setting traps for rabbits? Oof! Wait here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> oh, wolf. Oh no, this is bad. <laughs> oh, damn it. Wait, well, come back. <laughs> to return to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious. No. I can handle things from here. But, sir. But nothing. Go. No. Stop running. I only wish to talk. I'll miss Charles. Oh, I am not, not die. your enemy. Oh, look at Please this Please just hear me out. Look at her go, she's incredible. God, woman, only let me speak. Oh, wow, the little camp. Oh. <laughs> My goodness, stab him, stab him. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh, 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 whoa. Almost uh, died. Um, I, I did die. I pressed circle. <laughs> I don't know what else I'm meant to do there. We try that again. Maybe I need to do a reflex shot. Oh, that scared them off. Okay, he's running. He's running. So now we need to find her again. Where is she? Oh. Hang on. Wolves. But. Could she be? I, I saw her going about through the. Oh, there she is. You try my patience, woman. <laughs> Oh, is she off again? No, stop it! Oh gosh. Oh, she's. I'm getting attacked by wolves. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, I think I need to be more proactive with the wolves and. Uh, and get them quicker. Nice. All right, so where is she again? Up. Oh, there she is. You try my patience, woman! Look, if I can just climb up the tree, I'll be able to do that as well. We're pretty cool, I must say. We could make a good team. <laughs> we probably would make a good team. She seems pretty good. Where are you, lady? Get back here. Yes. Are you touched in the head? <laughs> Me, Haytham. I come in peace. <laughs> Why are you speaking so slow? Oh. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> what do you want? Well, your name, for one. I'm Gadzi Zio. Well, pleased to meet you. God, God's day. Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. Zio. Hate them. Zio. Zio. Now tell me why it is you're here. Oh. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? Well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Hmm. Look. I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there. 
and we'll see if you speak the truth. Oh wow! So she's just she's taken the the d little trinket. Oh, she's just here. You know, he must like trust her to to give her that. I'm going to read about her, Zio. Zio was a member of the. Mm. Living on the frontier lands near Boston at the time of the French and Indian War. Oh, wow. She's lovely. I'm very interested in her. She refused to follow their orders to remain neutral, deciding to fight back in her own way and recruiting help where she could get it, including from Hate Them. Well, maybe we could help each other. That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Oh. Edward Braddock. You know oh, him? him? He's no friend of mine. Mm. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. <laughs> what do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. Yep, kill him. But first, we have to find him. Okay, if we kill him, at least we get our Charles back. Nice! Very cool. Can you do that, lady? Did you see? Did you see? Did you see? No. I don't trust you. Oh. I know. <laughs> Yet you remain. But I yes. might prove you wrong. It will not happen. <laughs> so you say. So I know. <laughs> Yet, I remain. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like these two. They have a funny banter. What are you up to? Hmm. Quite sure what he's up to. But this is where we need to be. Alright, well we have a we have a new Charles. We don't need you anymore, Charles. <laughs> the right uh, Wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. Oh this is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. She is so brave. I hope so. <laughs> okay, I'm enjoying this. I am... Oh my gosh, uh, I'm in trouble. Can't stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves. The sting of the salt in the eyes. And the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldog's putting together another expedition. Right. That's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aight. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. Mm. Alright. So let's get to the next one. Can we sit or something? No, let's just stand by this window with the I hear tell the French are readying to move on our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. Right. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before week's end. Okay, going south. All right, well that tells us where they're off to. Let's get out of here before we're noticed. Oof, I don't want to be Oi. in there. Where are you going, Cully? No! Me? No, the other cock robin. Oh, well, no. I, uh, I was leaving. <laughs> yes, we were. Oh, and now? Maybe not. <laughs> well, now, I'm going to feed you your teeth. <laughs> and you were worried I was going to be the problem? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. All right, it's just a punching, I guess. I'm going to... I want to see if I can do this counter-attacks. Can I... I can't get my sword out. That's better. That's nice. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm getting there. It is very different to the first couple of games. 
fight. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Use breakable objects during a fight. I wouldn't mind like, trying. Don't know how to do that though. Yes! Nice. Beautiful. Great. <laughs> We're just wiping the floor with them all. Easy. I have to honestly say though, I don't think I'm doing well, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Done. <laughs> You impressed? You're hurt. Oh, it's oh. nothing. Aww. Here. Hmm. I should stop the bleeding. Hmm. Aww, that's so sweet. It wasn't necessary. Hmm. But thank you. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. Yes. I like her. I like her a lot. She's lovely and she seems to actually care. She seems to care about him and she knows stuff. And she's brave. And she's cool. I like her. <laughs> I like her a lot. All right. Uh, what? Now I'm not sure. There's one mission so that must be at braddock's camp perhaps we will go ahead and do that one and that might be enough for today all right i have been traveling a long way and trudging through this snow to find you zio and there you are execution is everything off with his head style, I think. Mm. Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> but I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. Okay. Oh, I see. Do not kill any guards using a weapon. I can hide in that cart. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's too late. Didn't make it. I don't think we made it. Oh, yes, we did. No, 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 no. Dude, 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 dude. I need a full inventory. As you wish. Uh, let's see. Two barrels of salt, 12 pounds pork, 10 pounds of beef, 7 dozen eggs, yes, 16 baby. wheels of cheese. None of it French, don't worry. Whiskey, <laughs> What's wrong with French cheese? <laughs> Patching blankets to cut feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. Mmm. That's all there is. I'm sure. Don't look inside. <laughs> wow. Those cannons amazing. are like to cause trouble. Yes. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Perhaps. Maybe we could try that. How do I get out? Do we get out now? Oof. I am so nervous. Where's the cannons? I'm just going to see if I can head to those cannons actually. Oh, damn it. I did something wrong. I'm considering restarting. You know what? I might. How do I restart? Reload the checkpoint. Because I killed him. 
with a weapon. Perhaps Those I can do this. Those like to cause trouble. Without killing them. Perhaps anyone. I could sabotage them. Perhaps. Let's see if we can sabotage them then. Where are they? There's one over there. He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? He doesn't sit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Mm. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. With a copy of the Damn it. At least this will be ended soon. I try, John. I know, my friend. I know. Get down! That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. My goodness um yes sir but i i wanted to see if i could get the cannons i was really curious about doing that is this something that i can actually do uh oh oh crap no 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 dude Oh boy. Hide in the thing. Yes, good boy. Hide in the thing. Just hide there for a bit longer. He'll stop looking at you in a minute. I promise. Okay, so he's right above me. Just wait for him to lose interest a little bit. There he goes. Sabotage. Let's get this done. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that's not too bad. So we've got one cannon done. I reckon we'll be able to do the other. Oof. Where's the other cannon? Oh, it's this way. Alrighty. Hide in the bushes. Hide in the bushes. There's the cannon. So what's your path? Where do you go? Let's just get down next to this bush here. We should be fine to actually go and do it. Nice. Get in the haystack! No. No. Get it. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm really trying to do these stupid cannons. I probably don't even really need to, but I thought it was a good challenge. I was curious about it. All right, guys. I will admit I have tried this several, several times now to get both the cannons, the eavesdrop, Those cannons are like and to cause trouble. the tactical map. Perhaps I could sabotage them. I'm having difficulties. What I may do is I don't care about this optional objective, about not killing the guards. I think I'm just going to wipe them out just to make things easier for me then at least then i can get the cannons no solution at all that allowing the french to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict that map will surely be of use yes I i'm gonna to go find it. get the map the map is just here so let's steal the map do i still have time to do the cannons or 
Escape the zone and become anonymous. Uh, hang on, do I even need to do the cannons? Unless that's for a future... Uh, a, a benefit of a future mission, if that makes sense. I'll try. I might try. Alright, so this is our last cannon. Okay, look, it was a little bit messy. It was a bit messy because I... Can I just jump down in the water? Yep. <laughs> Beautifully done. Okay, admittedly it was messy, but we've done it. Uh, we've done it to the best of my ability, okay? Now if I just get out of here the same way that we came in, perhaps? Is there a better way? How do we get... How do we get out of this place? Oh. Can't just climb into the wagon again, I don't think. Yes, we cannot jump over there. It's not too good. Am I trying to track these guards and just take them out one at a time, perhaps? That's one. Do we have any others? Come on. another guard here. If I could whistle him over. Come on, here he comes. <laughs> Done. So now there's just that one guy at the gate. I don't think this is how you're meant to do it. But, uh, whoa, don't look, don't look, don't look. But my my Hatham is he can be a, he can be a naughty boy sometimes. He's chosen this life of uh, naughtiness. <laughs> hey, at least it worked. I've have been trying that for so long now, and it's the best I could do. At least we ended up doing it in the end. Hmm. What news? Radicus left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. Mm. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. Nice. I will send word when it is time to strike. Okay. Thank you. Oh, she's so lovely. Nice. Excellent. We have, we've done that pretty well. I'm happy with that. I did most of it okay. All right, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. That last mission was a challenge because I was trying to hit all those optional objectives. It was just easier for me to get through if I didn't worry about not killing 
the guards as soon as I let myself be okay with that then I was able to do the two cannons get the map do the eavesdropping and it all worked out a little bit better so perhaps in the future I won't be so caught up on doing the optional objectives they are optional and it's probably a good challenge for those who want to replay the game and get it perfect all of the missions I have to say that I've enjoyed this part of Assassin's Creed 3 more than the first part that I played I feel that Haytham is you know he's showing himself and his personality a little bit more he is a difficult person to I guess love because all I've got to compare him with are Altair and Ezio whom I both loved dearly and Haytham he just seems very different to them and I love that he wanted to help like um the this lady the I think her name is, is Zio he wanted to help her and her people but he is in it for himself which I guess yes Altair and Ezio were as well but they had some charm about them this guy he doesn't really have that so it's very difficult to get to love him I'll have to admit but I am warming up to him a little bit more thanks to some of the missions in this episode so thank you Haytham even though you won't pat a cat I'm liking you just that little bit more all right guys going to leave this one here I hope you enjoyed it I had a great time I'm looking forward to the next one where we finally maybe get to kill Braddock I'm not a fan of him so that's going to be very satisfying and maybe that will mean that our Mr. Charles Lee comes back to us because I do like Lee he is a good sort all right guys that's it from me I hope you have a wonderful day ahead of you and I'll see you in the next one bye